a lot of people don't realize I actually moved to Los Angeles with my early band, which was the sort of pre-early version of Quiet Riot. Um, oh, and so was, actually, yeah, I moved name? to Los Huh? What was the name? Quiet right. Well, back then it was called I, well, I don't, we were called Shatterstar or something like that. But it was okay. myself, uh, Rudy Sarzo, Frankie Benelli, and we, so we actually moved to LA together, um, and we actually put that band together in my parents' basement in Lincoln, Nebraska, and it's you know, <laughs> and it, it's like it was so. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's just so classic rock and roll stuff, you know, yeah. it's like, and then, you know, cause we were, that was uh, in what, 1974, somewhere around there, 74, 75. And then um, we, uh, so we put the band together and toured the Midwest for, you know, for uh, what, two and a half years or so. And then, you know, one day Rudy and I and Frankie were like, yeah, we got to move to LA. We got to, we got to go, we got to go for it. And, yeah. and so my dad gave us his, you know, uh, a gold Plymouth station wagon. Right. <laughs> and so we literally, we rented a U-Haul, we packed up all our gear, we packed up everything. And we, uh, we got in the, the station wagon, we uh, took the U-Haul and drove to LA and the rest is history, you know. <laughs> what an incredible time, though. What and what was what, what? How were you feeling arriving in LA, going there to try and make it? It's funny because everybody talks about like, oh my god, how brave you must have been. No, we were stupid. We were just <laughs> like, hey man, let's like, <laughs> let's go do it. We'll, you know, we'll. So what if we starve a little bit? What's the big deal? So we slept in. We actually slept in the back of the station wagon, and just like. Uh, but it, you know what? It was just epic stories in rock and roll. I mean, because it was like, you know, getting to L.A. and then starting to meet people and all that kind of stuff. And it just sort of, you know, I mean, there were, you know, there were a couple, you know, there was like a year and a half of really lean living in L.A. when we were so like, oh, my God, you know, the the, the joke was always like, you know, we we'd we'd go to the store, we'd buy one box of macaroni and cheese, right? And then we'd, we'd get some flour and water and we'd make, uh, we used to call it crepes, but it was really just tortillas, <laughs> right? <laughs> we just, and, and we put a little syrup on it. If it was like, oh my God, we got syrup. We're, you know, it's like, <laughs> and you go to, you know, when you, when you get somebody nice enough to, to take us to the diner for a little food, then we'd like steal all the crackers and all the ketchup things. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, it was so classic rock and roll stuff. 